What was I going to say again? <laughs> right, everybody's going. Is that a fly? <laughs> I swear to God, that was a fly. <laughs> I didn't see anything. You didn't see it? I think I swallowed it. <clears throat> I swallowed a bug. So today, and way easy things to cook that makes you look pretty freaking awesome. We're gonna make lasagna. So stick around. So guys, we're going to make the easiest lasagna possible. And this is gonna be way easy. So we're gonna have just a few ingredients. So make sure you're watching. Here we go. So we're gonna have some lasagna. Bam, bam. We're gonna have some pasta salsa. We're gonna have, ah, oh, that's some meat. Mozzarella cheese, some mild cheddar. We're gonna have some, you don't need that. That's vodka, that's for me. And we're gonna have a bowl that's shaped in a square so it's not quite a bowl. And that's where we're putting the lasagna. So here we go. So the first thing that we're gonna do is get our meat into the pan and we've got a half pound of ground meat and uh, we're gonna put that in the pan over here. So here we go. But if you guys are interested in what pans that we are using, I'll make sure I leave a description below. So what I'm gonna turn this to is between six and seven but your temperature might be medium high, so that's what we're gonna get it to. And I'm just putting it in here and I'm just gonna break it up and we're gonna brown the meat. So I'm gonna let it start to heat up a little bit and I'm just gonna start doing exactly what I'm doing right here, just kind of breaking it up as it browns. So the next thing we're gonna do, so the next thing that we're gonna do is get our water to boil. Take our pot, get some water, 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 water. we're gonna get some water in here. There we go. So we got our water and we're gonna set it to high. We're going to grab our lasagna. I'm not really sure how much we're gonna need, but I think I'm gonna use one box and a half and we'll see how far that takes us. So let's do it. go ahead and do it. What I have here is some olive oil. Throw a little bit in here. What this does is it helps the noodles not stick. All right, I'll throw a little bit in here. Some people just use salt, some people just use olive oil. This is some of that kosher salt. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of both. We're gonna wait for that to boil and uh, then we'll work on the noodles. Water is warming to boil. So we're going back into the meat. We'll stir this up a little bit. Hey, who needs a hot meat injection? <laughs> And you just keep revisiting that, just like I just now did. So the next part of this is hydration. Better. You walk over here, you can see that the meat is pretty much done. There's a little bit of grease in there and everything. That's not too much, so I'm not worried about it, right? So I've already turned the heat off, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the sauce. So I'm gonna grab some of this pasta sauce, make sure that it was still hydrated because it's been a while. Good choice. So bring it over here. We're just gonna pour it right in here. Like I said, if you decide that you want all that grease out of there, you can drain it. It's totally up to you. This is good for me, no worries. So we got all that out of there, or did we? So one of the things that I like to do is, we're gonna take this over here, get a little bit of water, not a lot, right? Just right in here, put the cap back on. And that's gonna help get all of that sauce out of there. So look, got that way cleaner. That's good to get all the sauce out of that jar. So that's what we want. And we're just gonna work, work that meat into that sauce. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Daddy like. All right, so we got everything worked in there. We're gonna put this lid back on. We'll put this over to low. Just like that. And it looks like our water is boiling, so we are good to go when it comes to our noodles. So we're gonna pop open one of these. Here's the noodles that we're gonna use, and I always wanna make sure that these are good to go uh, before you use them, so. Um... AD. Yeah. Really? You have to cook it first. <sighs> oh, my bad. So, we're gonna take the noodles, Put them in the pot. Not going to 
cut them in half or anything like that. I want them long and put in that second box. About half of these puppies. Put that in there, see where we get. A little tongy tongy, move them around. Look at that. First ones we put in are already kind of settling in. Oh yeah. So you can already see them. And there I'm like maybe 60 seconds, that's about it. So these are gonna be going down soon. Throw that top back on. So you can see they're all down there. Oh look really only took a couple minutes for it to do it. Just throw a little bit more olive oil in there. Just a little, a little bit on top. No sticky sticky. Some tongs. Turn them around. That's pretty much it. There we go. Let them sit. All right, so here we go. Everything's pretty much ready. Uh, if you will look at the oven, I've already preheated my oven to 350. That's where we're going to finish out the lasagna after we've laid it into the pan. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that lasagna is good. And I did. I stirred it up ground a little bit, you know. Uh, so I think we're pretty darn good here, but I want to get the water out. So, take this puppy over to the sink. So the next thing we're going to do is we have the sauce. Here's our sauce. You have a choice, you can put butter on there, you can put grease on there, or whatever. But some people do put sauce as the first layer on the pan. That's what we're going to do right here. We're just going to throw the sauce on here. Just kind of give it a little bit of saucy goodness, right? So I'm just going to spread that around. I just kind of want that as the first layer. We're going to bring our lasagna right over here. Pick it up. I like to use fingers. So if it's not too hot, just kind of layer it so it is kind of hot but just gonna kind of layer it across so that's all I'm doing might pick it up with the tongs give it a little bit of air time to uh, cool all right Here's the next part. What? Oh, the sauce. This is so difficult. Oh my gosh. I wish we had a professional chef to do this because there's no way in the world that I could do this ever. Oh no. Someone help me. But this is what we do. And we get our little spoon. We're just gonna spread that across. I'll get that meat and that sauce. Oh my god. Oh, so lovely. So delicious. What are we going to do next? Oh, I have a feeling we're going to have some cheese. So this really kind of comes down to what kind of cheese that you guys like. What we are using today, I made this myself at home. And by home, I mean I went to Kroger's and I bought it. So um, we're, going to, <laughs> we're going to use mozzarella and mild cheddar. Now, like I said, you can use whatever sort of cheese that you guys like. This is what I like, so this is what we're going to use. Take some handfuls there, and just throw her on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you know what the best thing to do is? If you know exactly what what slice you're going to eat, maybe just throw a little bit extra down there. Maybe just throw a little bit extra. Like, oh, you know, everybody needs some. No, 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 you just, you hunker down right in there because that's what you want, baby. That's what you want, man. That's, that's my slice right there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> So that's one layer, right? Guess what we do? Oh no, we're gonna have to do it again. Oh man, it's so difficult. So, here we go. And this is what we're going to do, and this is what we're gonna repeat, so let's just watch.
So as you can see, no sauce. What are we going to do? Are we going to have to redo all of that? Guess not. Guess what? No, we're not. Because we're men. And that's what we do. As little as possible. So, get in here. A little bit of water in there. No problemo. Not a lot. Just enough to loosen up on that side. Good job, us. Throw it in there. Mix that up. So we're not going to need to cook this sauce. We're just going to mix in that water a little bit. We've already got our meat in there, so no issues. And we're going to cook this so we don't need to do anything else with the sauce. So, same thing. Still going to sprinkle this on and then continue with our layers and throw more sauce on there. So, let's keep going. You're not Garfield, you don't get lasagna. I think that's good, I think that's good. Maybe a little bit more cheese. But I think the layering might be done. So, totally used too many noodles. So I'm thinking one of those boxes, even less than one of those boxes, is probably the way to go. So, there you go. But we're gonna put some more cheese on that because, mmm, cheese. So the next thing that we're gonna do is throw this in the oven at 350 uh, for about 20, 25 minutes, something like that. And, but we're going to be watching and making sure that the cheese melts and maybe browns a little bit. You don't have to have it brown, but it just melts a little bit and you want it to be just kind of smooth over. So that's what we would do next for this. But this is what we have. We have extra noodles that you don't really want to go to waste. We have this extra sauce. We don't want to go to waste. Oh my goodness, and we have a pan. So we're going to make some meatless lasagna that either you can eat or your chickens can eat or... Um, I will eat it because it's basically spaghetti. So I'm totally going to eat this. So we're going to make this another little layer of meatless lasagna and um, we're going to throw it all into the oven. So let's do that. All right, so here's what we got. We have our original with uh, the meat sauce and everything like that. And we have our non-meat, but gosh. This is going to be so awesome. So now we're going to put it into the oven, 25, 30 minutes, and let's get it going. And there we go. That's pretty much it. And we're going to wait about 25 minutes, kind of watch that cheese to melt, browns a little bit. That's good. But as soon as it starts to brown, pop that puppy out of there. Uh, dinner time. Trying to give me a little piece. Oh man, look at this. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sure, I could have made that a little bit more lovely, but that is pretty nice, though. Oh, good God. This is going to be a little bit hot here, so. Mmm, so good. If you don't like this, I'm, I'm going to be really surprised. But I, I appreciate you guys watching, and I appreciate uh, all your guys' support. So I will see you guys next time. So, guys, uh, this is what we're going to need to do. We're going to make some lasagna. Mm. <laughs>